गुड मॉर्निंग यूजर गुड मॉर्निंग यूजन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग या सो यस्टरडेज प्रोग्राम्स आर डन सो व्हाट वाज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी वांटेड टू नो ओवरलोडिंग एब्स्ट्रैक्ट ओवरलोडिंग इज पॉसिबल और नॉट and uh, how can we write a constructor inside abstract class or not okay but uh, we don't create object for abstract classes right so how we are calling that constructor so by using sub class how we are calling see see the question is we are not able to create object for a abstract class if the constructor is getting executed how it is getting executed you are saying by using subclass object but usually how the constructor gets executed when the memory is getting created right so what is the process how it's getting executed others try to answer what is the process how we are executing a constructor how we have done it what did you execute Yo. there are two constructors yeah yeah uh, by using constructors like so, we are calling the subclass thing and we are executing it so you are calling the constructor how you are calling the constructor no we, we are creating a constructor in the main class method from that um, we are calling the subclass subclass method like we are given it abstract right so we can change the values of the abstract values in the subclass if somebody is going with you and you want to change it so we created a method for that in the subclass and you are calling me using the constructor then i got to find out if any one of the So we are calling. That's what I'm asking. We are calling, but how? What is that we are using to call? Now where is it? Oh, is that wrong? Initialize an object. See, we are initializing the object for abstract class. Is it that we are doing? No, right? No. Mm 
by using okay anyone has, yeah anyone has written that program right okay i'm making you hope can you show me how you have executed it So there is a class and a base class, right? Yeah, that's fine. So here a base constructor is there and a derived constructor is there. So you how the derived constructor is getting executed when the derived object is getting created, right? But are we creating a base object? No, right? Right, so yeah, that is the answer. What all you are using? You are using super to call the super class constructor. The thing all are having a parent class object inside the subclass. So whenever I create a derived class object, we are having a copy of base inside the derived. And who is pointing to that base? That is nothing but super. So how you are executing that constructor inside the abstract class using with the help of super, right? Yeah. So that was the question. Next, make me host again. In the participants after my name will have more options in that to make host. Rohit, can we, uh, without using the super, uh, can we override the parent class uh, method uh, in the subclass and can we uh, create the object for uh, subclass and uh, uh, can we do like that? Can you show me what you are specifying? Like I didn't get your question. You want to override a method without using super, but we are not using super to override, right? We are using super for the constructors. For yeah, we are using super for constructors, but without uh, using super keyword is okay. there any You want to execute the constructor without using the super, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that is not possible. So every time you need to use the super keyword itself. Okay. Saisri, you are the host still. You need to click on the participants. After my name, more options. Just say make host. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you have participants uh, icon, right? Yeah, click on it and you'll see my name. You know my name, right? So just kidding. Yeah, make host. Right. So
today's concept is nested clashes so what we can do is we can write a class inside another class that is nested clashes okay so first thing what are the types of nested classes we have static inner class non static inner class see everything will have both either static either non static because whenever there is no availability of object or there is no necessity of object we can go for the static keyword what in main class is a class within a class is nothing but inner classes right and uh, next what is non static inner class is class when the non static inner class is classified into three types so first will be uh, member inner class local inner class anonymous inner class so these are the three types of non static inner classes and static will be only one okay so what is member inner class why we require a member inner class how we can write it let's write few programs consider we have a package here i'll just say right click me nested classes so what i have is i have a class what is the class name like university so usually if you see a department exists inside the university itself so what we have to do we need to write a department class also that we'll write inside the university so this is a inner class okay and uh, here so whatever the class particular variables or methods are there is accessible accessible by the department class that is one advantage we can say because if you see if i write this department class outside the university i cannot access the properties and uh, functions of the university inside the department until unless uh, we have the extent keyword which is nothing but the inheritance so without inheritance if you want to still access the class variables and methods then we need to use inner class concept okay and uh, here let's say i'm just writing a method void so what is that method you can say university is announcing some exam date so void announcement i can say so just say system dot out dot printl and what you have to do like or uh, test starts from 1st august So that the first thing the announcement is done. So when the announcement is done by the university, what the department has to do? They have to prepare the question paper, right? So what I can do? Void
prepare question paper. So system dot or dot print ln. What I can say question paper preparation. start so when the announcement is done then they start the question paper preparation right so what's happening now here department class is not visible to the outside world only the university class is visible so if i want to create an object i can create object for university not the department let's say i have university so what I can say, Texas University, New University. Now I can call Texas dot announcement. They are doing the announcement. But if I call, create a department object, like what is a department? CSC is the department. So what we can say, it's not accessible. You can see it's giving an error. Department cannot be resolved to a type. What is the problem? The department is inside the university. So when we create an object for university, inside that only you have to create the object for department. Suppose this is a, consider this is a ramp. And what I have, I have a particular object. What is the object name? The object name is nothing but uh, you can say university object, Texas. So inside the Texas only you have to create another object, CSE. So in the C Texas University, you have a CSC branch, computers or masters, you can say. Right? So now, that is not possible here. You can see I'm creating the object outside the university. Just I'm saying department C is equals to new department. So it won't create inside the Texas, right? So that's the reason it's not accessible and it's giving error. How to solve this error? I have to generate the CAC object inside the Texas. Means department is, exists only inside the university. So university dot. You can see I can call the department class here. It's accessible. So I'll just say department equals to what is the next thing you can say? I have a CSC. But the question is, if I again say new department, it's giving error. The constructor department is not resolved. If I say university dot department, still the error, right? So here, what is the problem? I need a memory of department inside the Texas. So no need to call it using the university dot department. You need to call it in such a way, Texas dot new. So what's happening inside the Texas memory, the new department means department memory will be created. That is the advantage. So usually new operator allocates the memory with the help of a constructor. But that is done inside the Texas memory. So if you write this, there is no error. And you can see that CAC got created inside the Texas. And uh, now what I can do, I can just say CSC dot prepare question paper. So the process is slightly different from the previous ones, but here you can see the difference. So uh, the, for outside the world, there's only one object, Texas. 
they can't see or access csv so everyone understood how will member in a class is being accessed any doubts in this thing so let's say string sets how many set of question papers are there so i'll just say it has how many sets four sets are there so what i have to do i have to access that here so let's see whether we are able to access or not plus sets am i getting any error no so we can access the variable like university inside the department class first thing that's done so this is nothing but member in the class a class within a class we can say and uh, next thing is local in a class can you explain where we write where we declare a local variable where we declare local variable inside the class no yes inside the method local variables are declared inside the method so if i say local in a class means what we declare the class inside the method that is the difference so if you see here i have a department right so what i'll do i'll just copy the entire class in the method and go to that uh, test starts from 1st august enter and in, and paste it so what's happening now if it's inside the method it is not even accessible outside that method itself you know if anything is declared inside the method that is limited to that flower bracket itself we cannot access outside the particular class so what i have to do i can't create the object here so university dot department we can't do it so where we can create the object inside that particular let's consider i am creating the object outside as announcement department so what it's saying it's giving error that department is not resolved to a type it is not understandable to the machine so if i just write it inside the announcement then it's fine there is no problem then csc dot prepare question paper that's it so if you do the same thing outside the method it's not possible it's not accessible if you do it inside the main method it is not possible the test starts from first target and the question paper preparation started and you can see that variable is still being accessed inside the announcement method department class we are able to access that particular variable so that is what you can say as local in the class next before seeing the anonymous in a class let's see what is static in a class so how static behaves inside that so what i'll do is i'll just remove this class and uh, the object creation and declare that department as static okay so here it's giving error why cannot make a static reference to the non static field set 
the thing is the set is getting allocated memory when the object is created so when the class is getting loaded at that time the memory is allocated for the static things inside the method area so for department the memory is there and for sets there is no memory that's the reason we are getting this error so i'll just remove this thing and now this is what instance method so in a static class i'm writing a instance method and i can also say static void result means a static method also i can write system dot out dot printer result in 30 days so for this scenario we don't require the sets variable now how what the static depends on how to access the static now we can call the announcement it's getting executed but how to call the static department class because it's static means it doesn't depend on object we don't require object to access that How we access static members? We have to create an object inside the static uh, method itself, static class itself. For prepare question, we need object, but department is static, right? Static oh, depends on what class. Yes, it depends on university. So if i want to create department object i need to call it using the university so what we do here department dot i can access only the result you are able to see that uh, prepare question no if i call it what will happen again the error will come there is no prepare question so i can't call it so how to create the object university dot department cs equals to new university dot department now it's accessible there is no error cs dot prepare question paper that is possible okay so university dot department dot result is nothing but system dot out dot println what we are doing system is a class out is an object and println is a method Here, university is a class. Department is a particular inner class, and result is the method. So, if I run this thing now, so result in thirty days. Question paper preparation started. Understood? Any doubts? So, in the static class, if we write instance. it requires memory if you write static things it doesn't required memory that is the main concept so java simply follows this rule if it is static use class name if it is not static where is the object it will just ask for object next thing will be anonymous what do you mean by anonymous not known unknown yes not known or unknown right so without any name we have to write a class but without any name can we write a class yes but how to create the object without constructor it's not possible right so there is a process for that let's try this thing so what is anonymous in a class you can say
a class without any name is anonymous in a class but without the constructor we can't create the object right so i need the help of a constructor so there is a rule what is the rule super class constructor can be used to create the object of so how is the how it is done syntax so i have a parent and a anonymous class so let's say i have a parent class and i want to create a anonymous class so we use parent x equals to new parent but am i giving any semicolon here no we'll give a flower bracket and close the flower bracket here what is this this is anonymous in our class open flower bracket close flower bracket okay and for that anonymous inner class whatever you want you can write it here and we give a semicolon after the flower bracket so in this way we create object so what object is getting created node it doesn't allocate memory for parent class that is it allocates the memory for anonymous in a class that is the advantage so what you have to do whenever you are writing an anonymous in a class you will take the parent class reference and constructor and then create it so let's try this thing uh, so what i will do is instead of having university and all i'll remove this thing consider i have a class abstract class person now tell me for abstract class can we create object or not no no so we can't create object so we have an abstract method void int let's consider i am creating a person rahul new person is it allocating the memory no it's giving an error what is error cannot instantiate the type person but if i open a flower bracket here and close it now what's happening it's giving an error the type new person must implement the inherited abstract method person dot eat so yesterday we have seen a point whenever a class inherit the abstract class all these abstract methods must be overrided so here what's happening this anonymous inner class is a sub class of person now and uh, then what is happening here we need to override that eat method then the error is gone there is no error system dot out dot println what i'll just say eating ice cream that is the main important thing but how to execute this eat now already rahul is there rahul dot eat that's it so what will happen eating ice cream will come understood any doubts
is it clear because this is slightly different till now we haven't seen this right if you want i'll show another example like the example what we have used like car and audi in that you'll understand more so you want me to give another example yes please so let's remove this person and all so already you are familiar with uh, the overriding thing right abstract car is there or the easy subclass which overrides the methods because if i don't override it gives the error right so what i have to do i have to i'll write a particular class known as abstract class car and abstract void eat so now if i want to create object for our car it's possible no some car x equals to new car that is not possible it will give error cannot instantiate the type car because the memory is not allocated for car as it is abstract class but for audi we can create object so here i am writing an anonymous inner class okay and what it's saying add unimplemented methods if i click on that directly it's saying void eat sorry i said eat it should be cost actually okay so what will happen cost for car it will be cost right so cost now let's see so what's happening here the cost is getting overrided we can just say system dot out dot println audi cost is some 40 lakhs and how to call this thing x dot cost audi cost is 40 lakhs is getting executed understood yes sir so it's the same thing but we are creating object for anonymous inner class so anonymous inner classes are the classes without any name and if we use a super class constructor we can create the object without the super class constructor we can't create the object so that's the anonymous in a class which is very useful if you are learning android because entire android depends on this static in a class member in a class and anonymous in a class okay for android it's very important but in spring jdbc also we have this anonymous in a class that's the reason we have just gone through that okay so that's it for today try to complete these programs think on your own an example like instead of writing whatever the examples i am showing you think of your own examples like university and the department i have told you think of another example and try to write the program okay so that's it for today we'll meet tomorrow bye